I'm talking to uh, Ben Parker of UBS. And Ben, my first question is to you. Many organizations talk of a, a single bank model. Can you really align the needs of brokerage, prime brokerage, and custody into a single demand? Um, I think that's an interesting question, John. Um, from a UBS perspective, we have a serious challenge around cost, uh, as do most broker-dealers uh, and integrated banks. Um, so from our perspective, we've always found it works very well from the prime broker side that we've been able to integrate um, hedge fund custody, the prime brokerage service, particularly around uh, leveraging assets, rehypothecation, with our, um, uh, our main uh, investment bank operating model uh, and that has worked very successfully. Perhaps one of the more the bigger challenges we have and certainly um, you know UBS is looking very much at this now is how we deal with uh, wealth management and uh, our private uh, investor clients in, in Zurich. That is more difficult. I think there is a different demand, there's a different um, mindset from uh, those particular investors um, and that creates a challenge but fundamentally as a bank um, we need to look at ways of creating uh, centres of excellence, we need to look at industrialisation, how we um, use our resources in the best way to uh, create a, a common operating model across all parts of the organisation. On a, a similar theme, collateral management, which has been mentioned uh, today quite often, is becoming an ever more critical tool of the brokerage model. How, how do you leverage on your in-house and client collateral? Um, again, it's a challenge for us and I think it's only in the last three or four years that I think we've been able to create a model um, that utilises all of our assets in the right way. One of the interesting observations about what's happened over the last three or four years is that demand for collateral uh, has increased uh, across all of our um, different activities and being able to position that collateral uh, where we need it is, is the real challenge and being able to optimise that collateral in the best way. Um, I think from a client perspective, uh, you know, we try and use um, you know, client assets uh, where possible in, in terms of uh, rehypothecation um, and, and to integrate that with our own uh, activities. So we use common systems across both our client portfolio and our own proprietary portfolio to be able to, uh, to, to, to uh, optimise our capture in the best way. Uh, and, and a final question is, uh, again on a subject that has come much to the fore here in the conference, there's a lot of new regulation around. As far as your core business model is concerned, which regulation worries you the most and why? Um, <clears throat> I think the regulation that worries us the most, um, and particularly from a prime brokerage perspective, is, is AIFM, AIFMD. Um, having to have the uh, liability for um, sub-custodians uh, is, is a challenge for us. Um, you know, we, we want to be able to operate in as many markets as possible and to give our clients uh, access to a full portfolio of markets, but that particular regulation uh, I think challenges that model um, and challenges our ability to be able to give those clients uh, access to those particular markets. We, we, we need to be fully confident that sub-custodians we're using are operating in the right way. We do thorough due diligence, um, but nevertheless there is still uh, circumstances that uh, we may not be able to legislate for which would create a, a challenge for us. What would you do if one of your sub-custodians had a seriously deteriorating financial position, you already had assets with them and you felt uncomfortable? Um, I think what we would, we would try to do um, and, and there's two, there's a knee-jerk reaction where we would just take those assets out. Um, we, we don't run a full shadow network as uh, some banks do, but we do have contingency arrangements in place um, that we could move to, for example, uh, a, a global custody model, uh, assuming the global custodian doesn't use the same sub-custodian, which is obviously uh, one of the challenges. Um, uh, but secondly, I, I think, you know, we, we, we feel relatively comfortable um, from an asset safety point of view that the securities um, are safe, they're not going to any, go away anywhere. I think the challenge for our clients is how can we access those assets and how long it will take to access those, those, those assets. Um, but, and that's very difficult to know. You really need of a custodian going bust to understand exactly what the, the scenario would be. And that's a slightly unhappy note, Ben. <laughs> Thank you very much <laughs> Thank indeed. You, John. Thank you.